Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the rosy supernova. We have rovers. Okay, good. It stayed. So this rover's over here digging. This would be the tungsten planet. I did the priority trick. That's a tungsten volcano, and that is the hot polluted oxygen. I think they made the rovers slower. Like, this one took forever to dig the top of this down. And God, there's just no good way to get this one down to anything useful. So let's have it dig out that stuff. I'm currently on my way there with a second rover. The reason being is when I saved and reloaded, uh, the module was gone. So the rover couldn't deconstruct it. So I didn't get the battery. I didn't get the metal over here. So I'm not entirely sure what happened. I got the same out of range thing on the way back. So when this one comes back, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That even though it should be within range, it all of a sudden says it isn't. You then just got to reselect where it's going and it works. Otherwise, gas wise, the pumps are doing quite well. You know, you can see we actually have like oxygen up here and everything else is pumping down. I put in a liquid tank of tanks just to absorb more of this clean water so I can pump more of it up. Just trying to clean up this general area. Let's see, this rocket is about to land and it is right at the distance of what its food can do. So you just, I just gotta pay attention to how much food I'm putting in. I put in too much. So five is too much. Whatever, we can just drop it on the ground. They're about to land. And then working on putting a uh, person module so we can send it over to the ice planet. And when the big rocket comes back, we'll swap that over. Just looking, I haven't actually checked the pipes in here in a while. And so, yeah, the pipes are full. This is the rocket that's on the ground getting it ready for this. Uh, no. They have gantries now. I don't know what they're for. So you should be just about there. And I'm also loading this one up with raw material to build the ladder, because on the ice planet I couldn't dig down to any of it. Okay, so we want to deploy you. There is fine. And we want to change you back to there. And we want you to land on the center pad. So yeah, so last time this came down, but then I reloaded. And when I came back, it was gone. And like, you can't even select it. So you just have to highlight everything and deconstruct it. Maybe. God, the rope, it really feels like they slowed down the rovers. Like the amount of time they just sit there and look at you funny is quite bad. But yeah, if you notice that that module didn't even show up, I, all I could do was just deconstruct a wide area. So a bit of an issue. I don't know if that was part of an update I missed or something's going on. Maybe they don't want you to get that metal, so you have to send down multiple of these modules. I don't know. It's all bad. All right, you swap for you. All right, and everybody who's not you. And we're saying no food. We got Oxalite, and now we just need someone to come empty the pipes. Maybe. And yeah, we're building modules. Oh, you're emptying the pipe. I'm like, it's taking them forever to build that cot, but they're not building the cot. Okay, why isn't air coming in? Oh, I forgot. I moved this and I forgot to give it power. Oh, and I want to move 
I want to move this too because I want a deodorizer. So we're just moving a lot of things. I can just do that. That's already got the pump. We can then get rid of all of that. Oh, no. I need power over here. So might as well leave that power wire because it's already there. And I can put in a deodorizer. Oh, why? Eh, it's nice for them to use the bathroom up here. And you deconstruct it to seven. Is it doing that again? The overlapping ports thing? Yeah, I don't really want anybody. All right, you're on the way back. We are loading up that at some point. Oh, right. Can you still get out? There's no battery on this one. Oh, what? I, I absolutely hate that. Like, I'm fine with them auto-assigning it when they're not... When they're in the rocket, but when they get back to base, they should auto-assign back to the base, not come into the rocket. No. We have a big, super nice bedroom down here. When they're not flying the rocket... Oh, you can't get out. Damn it. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna have to put in a gerbil wheel. Can't get out because there's no power. Are you just stuck eating? Super annoying. But I've rebuilt the inside of this rocket so many times there's plenty of crap lying around for her to build out of. Go on, you can do it. Did someone steal your copper ore? I've got copper ore right there. This this would be the part about space stuff that I don't like. The they made this needlessly complicated and way too hard to get power into things, and so so much little stuff breaks. You just have to micromanage every freaking bit of it. Oh, yeah, you're stuck on the eating animation. Whatever. We'll figure it out eventually. And building that is set at a priority seven, but yeah, anyway. Come back up to here. Okay, so you're still saying two cycles. You. I'm gonna have to reload to get him off of the eating animation. Come down here. Oh, they now have a gerbil wheel they can get themselves out. What I'll probably do is de disconnect that pump just because it uses up so much power that it can't run for any length of time. Yeah. 
Ah, I think we're getting through that. That's now loaded. We have fuel. Good God. That's how much food. I had five in there. And how much rotten barbecue did I have left? Three kilos. So let's set this to four. And wait for someone to deliver it. Yeah, Rin's idol. Rin's the pilot of the other rocket. Somebody? Maybe. It, it should not take two people. There's only four kilos. How much did you bring? You brought 72 grams of stale barbecue. That's going to be really annoying if you... if There's no way for me to select between stale and not stale. Like that, that is absolutely worthless. And why are you eating in here again? God. I mean, it's just this absolute micromanagement stuff that I hate. Okay, how much did you bring this time? None, now I don't have any. <laughs> oh God. Uh, sometimes in this game. All right, I'm going to pause you while I wait for dupes to do anything. All right, we have barbecue. And the dupes are out of here. You, we're going to turn on. You, we're going to deconstruct. Location, we're going to change to there. Crew is going to be Catalina. And Harold, because we need a builder. Once they're in flight, everything's fine. Turn that off for a second. Right, the power builds up a little bit. And then once this is done pumping everything up, the power holds out just fine. Ugh, annoying. Uh, how's my other rocket doing? Oh, this is what I was talking about. It says destination out of range, even though it isn't. And see, now it says flight one, one cycle. Yeah, so that's what's been going on. But the problem is when it says out of range, the rocket stops moving. So you have to go in and check it and tell it that, no, it's actually in range. Please keep going. Wh why are you sleeping on the... F oh, this is just getting stupidly frustrating. Like, now you're not even auto-assigning into here. Alright, let's turn. I'm not quite getting enough power because of the fridge. Whatever. And you're stuck on eating animation. And overlapping ports. Alright, I think I'm going to have to save and reload. Yeah, see now it says out of range again. 
even though it isn't. And we want you landing on the center pad. Unreachable food. Oh, you got in there with a worn out suit. Why are you even in there? Well, that let one of them out. <laughs> yeah, there's a tank of oxygen there. He must have come in with the suit that was almost worn out. It wore out when he came into the rocket, and then he dropped it on the ground. Again, spaced out lots of just micromanagement. Everybody get out of here. All right. So yeah, I just got to uh, set this to crew only. So hopefully the dupes will stop going in there. Oh, did all your food... I'm going to have to turn them around. I'm going to have to turn them around. They brought in a bunch of rotten food. <sighs> Dear God. All right, well, I have to reload anyway. All right, the reload brought me to right before they take off. So yeah, important thing to check. There are three kilos of completely stale barbecue. There it went. Alright, where's the rest of my food, people? Oh, I probably gotta check this rocket again. Yep, out of range. Yeah, like, why are there three store errands for six? That just means they're bringing more crap food. All right, well, that's mostly good. That is what, nine cycles worth. All right, we're going for it. Sucks that I can't fit a battery in this stack, but once I get a landing platform on the slightly further away planets, it will be much easier. And I don't mind them running on the wheel till all this is full of oxygen, then the pump won't run nearly as much. Until then, Harold just won't have a bed. All right, my port overlaps are gone. Oh, there's got to be a shovel in there. Oh, here, let's just dig that out, then he can't get to it. All right, one's full. And then this little overlap is if the carbon dioxide gets too thick 
by the food, I can just connect these pipes and then the pump will run for a little bit. Where did all this slime lung come from? Ah, uh, who knows. Well, that's in the suit. And then oxygen here is just coming from this pile of oxalite. There, see? Now you're full up. Deconstruct. Ah, you almost made yourself a bed. Really is annoying that it's not... doesn't always show the arrows. Now you have a cot. There you are. All right, so that crisis is averted. Now we'll wait for this rocket to land. One feature of this rocket is there's a massage table. Uh, Rin was overskilled, and so on his last trip out to the ice planet, his stress got very high. So he built himself a massage table, and then I have since skill scrubbed him so he doesn't have that problem anymore. But that's why he gets a rocket with a massage table. I think that was him landing. I saw the background change. And it landed on the correct platform. Perfect. You, we're going to leave you as crew. I just want you to get out of there. Cancel auto delivery. I don't think there's any place I can get to with that size rocket. The rest of these are all too far away. I got to use the big rocket for them. But as soon as he goes through a sleep cycle, I'll have him take off in this one with a friend and we'll see what happens. Well, I just hired a new duplicant based completely off of a comment from one of you guys. And the comment was they had sent their only cook to, to a different planet. I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably have more cooks. So Nicola just got hired as another cook that I can send to another planet. Because... <laughs> Yeah, it sometimes sucks and spaced out when you take somebody like your Mectronics engineer and you send them to a planet and then realize you don't have them on your main planet. So, oh, before we do this, we need food. We're going to go with six and see what happens. So yeah, thank you for reminding me that having multiple cooks is a good thing. Usually, you know, when you get on the base game, you only have one or two cooks total. But you kind of need a cook for every planet where dupes are going to stay. Somebody? There we go. Yep, so you're all set. Now I just need two dupes to put in here. And is that good food? Good enough. We want Ren and my other builder, Hassan. I don't know why it always gives that breathability warning. The air in there is perfectly fine. And this one's got a big oxygen tank providing it. So it's only running the mini pump. There you are. Oh, 
the saves. Ah, why are you just sitting there? Ah, right, you're just idle. Okay, we are now waiting for rockets to fly. We are just about ready to hit orbit, and we'll see whether or not this works. So I need to wait for them to hit orbit, drop a suit out of the dock, put the builder in the suit, land the builder on... The, nah, it's just going to take... Again, more micromanagement. And a very slow animation. Okay. You. Undock suit. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Harold, put on the suit. Full suit. Into the star map. You. Harold. Deploy. Do I actually care? Where? The answer is no. Now see, this shows up. This I can deconstruct. And if Errol might move the rocket platform in the future, but right there seems perfectly fine by me. What did I say make that out of? I got sedimentary rock right over here. For a second, I thought I wasn't going to build it. Oh, wait. What do you have inside the rocket? I think you've got... Do you tell me? Some igneous rock, but not enough. Okay. Point is, you can now land there. Oh, I'll be damned. I did that exactly the right height. This one should be just about getting to orbit. Another 40 seconds. And then we do this again. All right, so I'm going to make a schedule. Harold's gonna go on it, which is pretty much the don't do anything but work schedule. I just don't want him falling asleep in the middle of this. You are now in place. And good durability. Hassan put that on. Hassan's also going to go on here. do that. We will also have you dig down this granite.
Where are you going? No, cancel that. Almost done. Change crew. Put Harold back in there. Ah, now, schedule-wise, Harold can go back on his normal schedule. Which I'm assuming is this one. And all that got cooked. Right, I'm going to save right now just in case I break something. And I think we will call that good, looking at the time. <laughs> just realized I'm over. So we got our first rocket platform and we are working on the second one. Thank you very much for watching. It's a lot of micromanagement and spaced out, but we are now on more planets.